Hi everyone. Today we're going to be looking at the standard form of a quadratic function. So in your notebook, please put today's subtitle, Standard Form of a Quadratic Function. In many, many math textbooks, you will find that the standard form of a quadratic function is shown in the following manner. f of x is equal to a multiplied by x minus h all squared plus k. The standard form provides us with many different kinds of clues about the parabola than the general form does. The value of a in the standard form fortunately does the exact same thing as the value of a in the general form. In other words, the value of a in the standard form causes stretching and flipping of the parabola. And again, if a was positive, it would cause a happy face parabola. And if a was negative, it would cause a sad face parabola. The value of h and k together are very powerful in the standard form. Individually, the value of h reveals the x coordinate of the vertex, and the value of k reveals the y coordinate of the vertex. Let's get that important clue down immediately. So the vertex coordinates are given by h and k. This will also mean that our, that our axis of symmetry which corresponds to the x coordinate of the vertex would lead us to conclude that the axis of symmetry from the standard form is given by x equals h because h is the x coordinate of our vertex. Like usual, for the zeros, it's calculated in the following manner. Set y to 0 and solve for x. Except this time, you probably will not rely as much on factoring. You probably rely a lot more on simple, normal equations and algebraic manipulations. Now, there's also another way to calculate zeros from the standard form. So put a big OR. And the alternative is to use formulas. And the formula that will help us is the following. The zeros could also be calculated by doing h plus and minus the square root of negative k divided by a. And finally, to calculate the initial value, the same procedure applies to any other graph, which is to set x equal to 0 and solve for y. Now, with all this information in hand, we can actually draw, draw a pretty decent parabola. So, let's try it. I'd like you to put an example. Suppose that I asked you to draw the following. f of x is equal to 0 0.5 multiplied by x plus 3 all squared minus 8. Now, before we proceed, let us clearly identify all our variables. So the value of a is clearly 0 0.5. The value of h is equal to negative 3. Hmm, that's interesting. I'm going to have to explain this in a moment. And the value of k is equal to negative 8. Now let's go back to the h. The huge question is, take a look. In our rule, it is displayed as plus 3, but our h is negative 3. Why is this? Well, it's actually pretty easy to explain. The rule in the standard form, if we take a look at it again, is written a multiplied by x subtract h all squared 
plus k. Now let's go back to our example. Notice that what is being displayed is x plus 3. But in standard form, inside the bracket is normally x subtract h. Now, what's the only way that it can cause a positive 3 to be displayed? It can only happen if we have x minus negative 3. So, in fact, your h value is actually negative 3 because x minus minus 3 causes the plus 3 to be displayed. It is a little confusing, but don't worry, with practice, you will get used to this. Okay, let's get back to identifying all the bits and pieces of our parabola. Let's start with the vertex. The vertex is always given by h and k. So in this case, our vertex will be located at minus 3 and minus 8. Next, let's determine our axis of symmetry. This will be useful when we draw it in a few moments. So, like usual, the axis of symmetry corresponds to the x-coordinate of our vertex. So in this case, our axis of symmetry will be x equals minus 3. Next, let's calculate our initial value. Very easy. Just set x equal to 0 and calculate your y. So y equals 0 0.5 multiplied by 0 plus 3 squared and minus 8 and that will give us negative 3.5 finally let's calculate our zeros let's try using the uh, formula for calculating the zeros in standard form this one right here So, x equals h plus or minus the square root of negative k over a. So, let's plug everything in carefully. We have x equals h is negative 3 plus or minus the square root of negative k, so that's going to be negative of negative 8 divided by a, which is 0 0.5. And if you did everything properly, you should find that our two zeros are negative 7 and also 1. With all this information in hand, we're now ready to draw this sucker. You're going to need a grid that's about this size. So go ahead, pause the video now, and prepare your grid. Okay, let's put down all our information slowly. I usually always put down the vertex first. So the vertex is located at minus 3, minus 8. So, I believe that that will put it right about here. There we go. And please label it with a letter V. Next, let's put down our two zeros. First one is at minus 7. And the other one was positive 1. So far, so good. Uh, next, let's put down the initial value, which is at minus 3.5. So I guess that'll put it around there. And finally, let's put down our axis of symmetry. 
the axis of symmetry will help me get one more point out of this. So the axis of symmetry corresponds to the x coordinate of the vertex. There we go. And this will help me find the mirror image of the initial value, just like in general form. Take a look. The initial value is located three units away from the axis. That means on the other side, it will also be located three units away from the axis of symmetry. Now, with all these five points, we should be able to draw a pretty decent parabola. So go ahead, give it a shot. There we go. That's a pretty good looking parabola. And that's all there is to the standard form of a quadratic function.